guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another idle game tutorial video. This is episode 21 and I got an exciting one today. So I originally wasn't going to do this, but we are going to do it anyways. We're going to do double layer prestige system. Yes, yeah, some very exciting stuff. So there's a few ways we can do this. It can either be based on your current coins or it can be based on your gems. So I'm going to go off of gems just because that seems a little more interesting. All right, so we're going to go to our main screen today. And uh, I'm not going to do any upgrades related to this. This is just, just a straight up second prestige system um, that basically resets everything, except, or everything, including gems and your achievements. All right. Now, actually, no achievements. No achievement resets. We're going to do that. Okay. So we're going to have a prestige button here. Now, actually, we could add a, a second layer of prestige. So let's actually do that. So we're going to have a prestige button here. And this is called Second Prestige. So we're going to call this Rebirth. Or just call it something epic. That's kind of your goal for making the Second Prestige system. Let's have an epic name to that. <laughs> so like, mine is Hard Fork, and then I have Grand Hard Fork. And now i got to think of a third Prestige system for Crypto Clickers. Yes, I'm going to. <laughs> um, so we're going to do Rebirth for this. We're going to have just an entire screen dedicated. We're going to make this a legendary. Okay. So we're going to make our... Rebirth screen. We're going to rename that to Rebirth screen. So I just basically just copied the Rebirth one, or the, the Prestige one, so we can get rid of all this stuff. And now in here, I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to grab, I'm going to steal that Prestige button from here. And then I'm going to paste this in here. Now it's not just going to be a button, we're going to make this cool looking. So actually, I'm going to resize this because I don't know why I keep making these screens not full screen. So I'm just going to anchor that stretch and put zero so it stretches the entire canvas, the entire parent canvas, and then put our button in here. I should, I should do that for the rest of ours. <laughs> so I'm going to do that real quick. So if you watched the previous video, make sure you do this too. So I'm going to do that, 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 and put everything back in here. Cool, more a bit organized now. <laughs> so we're gonna make this legendary. So we're gonna do a rebirth. I'm gonna add a background here because we need something new, right? So we're gonna do add image rebirth BG. It's gonna be our same image that we currently have, but I'm just gonna change the fade. Uh, here, let's make this full screen first. Zero, 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 zero. So now we don't see anything else, so that's kind of an issue. We need to put this in front of the header. So actually, the header right here should be in the front anyways. So we see the settings icon, it should go in the header. So there we go. So now we always see the header. And we have a legendary background. We have, you can add some fire effects or something like that. Something I really don't know how to do. Like there's a particle system, so if you want to play with that, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not good at it at all. Which is why you probably never if you played my game, there's no, no kind of special effects like that. Hopefully soon I can learn, because all I know is how to do it in a 3D world, not in the 2D. So I think that's just a little different. Anyways, I'm gonna start working. So let's do the rebirth button. Uh let's make this button wide, because why not? We're gonna have a rebirth. We're also gonna have a nope. We have a back button, and now we're going to give our rebirth the very epic color, the lighter one. And we're going to make this extremely bold because it looks extremely epic if it's bold. The bolder, the better. So we have our rebirth. <laughs> All right. Cool. So now what we can add here to make this game even cooler, we're going to steal this text from events, which is the name. And we're going to do... I'm gonna put the title. This is the title. So now we need to think of a second prestige. What should gem should we do crystals? Now there's gems. What's even better than gems? Now Hmm. I can do crystals, I guess. I need something epic, like souls maybe. We can do souls, I guess. I don't know. It sounds too generic. But we're gonna do it anyways, because it's just a tutorial after all, right? Prestige gain. We're going to do plus one, or we're just going to do plus, blah, souls. Yeah, that sounds pretty freaking epic, doesn't it? Uh, so we have, we need a prestige current, 
Prestige current. Oh, no, no, it's re Rebirth, not Prestige. Duh. No, prestige, or <laughs> Rebirth. We currently have that many souls. Design this however you like, whatever satisfy you. Whatever satisfies your needs. Rebirth game name. Cool. Not too epic, but <laughs> we got something. <laughs> so now this is pretty basic, but basically these souls are just going to boost the gems. All right, that's how we're going to do it. You can make it so the souls boost coins even more or something like that. But we're going to do gems, okay? So this should be pretty interesting in the long run. So I'm going to make a rebirth script, even though we really don't need one because it's kind of simple. But just to save some organization, we're going to do that. So I'm going to copy-paste the prestige manager, get rid of that, rename it to rebirth manager. And we're going to add the rebirth manager script. Make sure it's spelled correctly, new script. Okay, so we'll open up our scripts. And we this is pretty basic. <laughs> We basically just got to add the public text. Uh, we're going to do souls text. And we need to import the using. We need to import the no, the use the engine.ui namespace. We're going to add the souls to get text as well. And that's pretty much it. Now, I don't believe we need a start method here. So we're just going to jump straight into the public public run method. Okay, so we're gonna set. Uh, we're gonna actually gonna start because I was stupid and added decided to add the game the prestige game object there. We're just gonna or we're just gonna add our canvas here. Public canvas rebirth group. Okay. So now if ah it's public void run if rebirth group. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here. I keep forgetting to always do this, but we're going to do private. We're just going to have a UI. Uh, what am I doing? Void UI. We're going to run that in here. If rebirth group dot game object dot right public idle idle tutorial game game we're going to do var data equals game dot data because we're going to use it in the future but basically we're going to do if game dot rebirth group dot game object dot set active no it's active self I made this mistake last video too <laughs> uh, we're going to return this we're going to return this method okay Otherwise, souls text text is going to be equal to stuff, which we need to go back to our data. We're going to add on to it. So let's add another region called rebirth for organization purposes and a region. And we're going to add a public big double souls. Cool. So let's check out what's our souls to get equation right here. So I'm just going to copy this equation. You can make it harder, you can make it easier, you can adjust that as so, but you, I highly recommend you use Desmos um, to do that kind of stuff. It's all about the graphs. Okay, so import the static break infinity dot big double uh, namespace so we can... Okay, okay, never mind, ignore that. <laughs> Let me copy this. So we're gonna do public big double souls to get, which is going to equal to game dot data dot gems, not coins. So if you want to make this minimum smaller, so we I, for this video I'm gonna do e4. Now you can adjust that as so. Of course, this would be an insanely quick game if it was that small. I'm telling you that right now. So our souls text is going to equal. Uh, I'm going to do souls like this. Souls. Data dot souls. Cool. And now we need to have our souls to get dot text. And on rebirth. 
we will do souls. Mm, let's do it like this. Souls. All right, and this will be souls to get. And this can be a private method. All right. And here we can have a private big double. No, this is me public. We're gonna have a public big double souls boost, which is gonna equal game dot data dot souls times. Let's see, what do we do for our prestige? I think it's like zero point zero five. Yeah, it is. We're gonna do zero point zero one, so it's gonna be even less. So we can do actually zero point zero zero one because we're multiplying soul or our gems, which is gonna be quite a lot. <laughs> and we can remove this right here. Cool. Um, so we can run UI in here. And honestly, this is really it. <laughs> we just need to add like the public void. Uh, yeah, we just need to have the rebirth in here. So what are we resetting? Let's grab all of this full reset because this is all of our stuff that we're actually going to like handle. <clears throat> now, ignore all the red. We're just going to get rid of the stuff we don't need to. We're going to ignore that. We're going to ignore achievements, gems to get. And this is all. So then we can go here. Data. No, data. And then at the top of here, we're going to do var data equals game.data. Cool. This is our rebirth. <laughs> and also, what we can do here is game dot. All right, sorry about that. So, in here, we're going to do um, rebirth group dot game object dot set active false. So, we can just immediately go to our, our main. So, let's see, we have a main menu group, right? Is that it? Is that what our group canvas is? Yeah, our main menu group. So, on rebirth, we would go straight there, all right? <laughs> Uh, before we finish this rebirth, we also need to add that data. Before we do all the resetting, we need to do data.souls plus equals um, souls to get. Easy as that. <laughs> That's all we need to do for our rebirth. So if you ever need to like figure out what to reset, just always grab the full reset stuff in here. Because when you ever, whenever you add a, um, whenever you add something here, you always want to add it to the full reset. So you see how I didn't add the souls. So make sure you do that. Or else, you, it'll it'll look weird in this when you create a save, a brand new save system, because it won't initialize. Actually, I think it'll initialize this as zero, but the full reset it won't work. So make sure you add that no matter what. Okay. Uh, what's why is this white? I don't know why this is white. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's apply this boost. So I think we need to add it. Yes, we do. Public rebirth manager rebirth. Let's go down to our boost, and we're gonna add this to our gems boost. Where is that total gem boost? Cool. So we'll just do temp temp times equal rebirth dot souls boost. Awesome, this should work. Let's double check. Um, oh, let's add actually. Yeah, this looks like it works. Before, let's add a, let's add a boost text. Souls boost text. And this will be in our UI dot text. And this will be Gems boost. Gems are X better, and this will be boost. Cool. We should be done with that. It's pretty easy to implement a double prestige. I could literally add a triple prestige with the soul's currency if I wanted to. It's just a matter of, of creativity at this point. Because <laughs> You literally just copy and paste this and just do it over and over again and make sure it applies the boost correctly. 
So now you can do upgrades for this if you'd like to. Just do the exact same as the Prestige and make sure you apply the boost correctly. You might have to do a total Souls boost and do this exact same thing. And then you multiply by total Souls boost. But I'm not going to do a tutorial on that unless it is highly requested. Okay? Because so I am trying to put out as much unique content as possible. And if it's something I really need to do, I will do it. I'll do it for you guys. So let's see. We have our souls text so we have a rebirth current we have our gain which is to get and we need to add a boost text so this should be rebirth gain and this will be on rebirth and actually we can we can literally just move the title in this anchor to the top um let's copy this current boost be a little smaller gems are better it'll look like this we can make this green if you'd like let's do that let's go to rebirth manager and drag our rebirth group save we need to add the rebirth so you can add caught information if you like but i don't i don't feel like doing that so if you want me to do tutorial again any recommendations please just request i need stuff to make videos on <laughs> comment them below just um, at least it's something not like totally like full on like make a multiplayer like 1v1 stuff like that daily rewards i haven't done for my game i know that's been highly requested so once i do that for my game i can possibly do a tutorial for you guys on that too so yeah just honestly request as much as you can because i really need like provide a list if you need to and i'll do what i can because i really need stuff And this one, uh, so the gist will be, this back button will be game manager dot, uh, change tabs. And this one will be rebirth. I don't think I have a rebirth navigation yet. Yep, we don't. So let's add that real quick. Rebirth. And since I'm smart, I actually added the rebirth group. And I'll add it down here for disable all, because we want to make this false. Cool. We are good to go on that. One more thing that we need to drag. We are good. <clears throat> so here's the rebirth screen. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's turn this off. Let's go to our main screen. So this might not work, but we'll see. It's a pretty simple concept. Oh, yeah, I, had, I knew we were going to have an issue. What is it? All right. We forgot to drag our Rebirth Manager. I totally didn't, didn't see that in the list. All right. We are good to go. So now if we go to our Rebirth... Ah, oh, it still goes there. Why? Hmm, I thought I changed that. Second prestige. We can honestly change this to rebirth screen. Yeah, I didn't change it. So make sure you change your rebirth button. Make sure, this is a rebirth button. Make sure you change the name properly. Save. Always save. Make sure you're on GitHub too. <laughs> Private repositories always help. Rebirth. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot one more thing. I promise this is the last thing we're going to need to do. We need to go to our main script and we need to go to our update method. Uh, yeah, so right here we just do rebirth.run. Cool. And now we go back to our Unity. Once it loads, this should work. The UI should work. So the prestige itself probably would have worked. Alright. Cool. So now let's change our so gems are one point so we need to do that again we need to add the notations thing so let's see let's go to gems let's add four four five six seven okay so i'm gonna actually do this real quick because i this is very annoying on how i don't even like have this yet so i'm gonna add this parentheses Ugh, I hate how 
writer doesn't automatically add this. That makes me so mad. Oh, I hate it. F2. Okay. And let's do our rebirth stuff real quick. Okay, we need to do game dot notation method. This is one of these methods I kind of wish I put in the methods class, but I don't really feel like changing. All right, so first of all, let's see if it's saved. We need to try that rebirth thing, and then we are good to go. And it shouldn't look really messy. Yeah, see, that's a lot better. So now the the gems are hiding behind the watch ads button. So you can fix that by just going to your header, going to gems, and just moving it to whatever you like. I know that looks kind of ugly, but you can fix that. <laughs> but we don't have ads, so I can just hide this button. All right, so let's go to our rebirth. Cool, so let's rebirth. Let's see if this works. All right, so so it didn't go back to our main. Our upgrade screen is hidden because we don't have anything unlocked. So it did wipe our achievements, it looks like. No, it didn't. No, so, okay, that's the cool thing. It wipes... It doesn't wipe your achievements. It just it's just your stats, I guess. You keep the level, so you can keep the boost. So yeah, obviously you need to move this down. Prestige looks like it wasn't reset, but the rest of it looks like it was pretty good. So let's go to rebirth. We got our souls. So gems are fifteen times better. Oh boy, that is too op. So the back button isn't working. Why is that not working? So yeah, obviously this is very buggy. Rebirth. Okay, so we have a few things we're going to try to fix real quick. So the levels are not resetting. So I'm guessing... Why are they not resetting, though? I swear I thought I had those. Okay, I see why. It's because we for, I think we forgot to add our... Hmm. I swear we added our levels for the prestige. Oh, there it is. It's hidden right here. I forgot that we have groups in here. So let's just copy this prestige, add it to the new full resets. I forgot to do this in the tutorial. We can keep this group. Get rid of all of these and set all of these levels to zero on full reset. Cool. So then that means we'll go to prestige manager or rebirth manager and we will do the exact same thing. Except we got to add the data dot at the beginning of it and it should reset properly. Okay. Another thing, it's not... Okay, so main menu group is... Uh, okay, that's why. What else is not working? The back button isn't working. Why is the back button not working? Okay, so I see. <laughs> it's because we're go when This back button is set to rebirth when it's actually going back. So we're going to set this one to... What is it? Main? Main? So now, if you go to upgrades and go to rebirth and then press back, it'll go to main. So that's... I mean... That's, that shouldn't be too big of an issue, right? We can, however, rebirth back. And we can just set rebirth group to false. And... Hmm, I don't know if that would work, though. We're just going to leave it as is. Main. And this should all work. So I can rebirth if I want to. Cool. So it brings us back. Upgrades, achievements, prestige was cleared. Daily events not effective. The reason why we're not seeing any daily events because it's Wednesday. We don't have a Wednesday event. And it works. So let's try to get some... Let's see how this goes. All right, let's do this. We're going to add some money. No, that's cheating, but... <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> this is a little dangerous. <laughs> oh god, this is a little dangerous. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh good. I should do automation. I need to add that. I need an automation update. We're not getting enough. We need more. I demand more. Okay, we can buy some upgrades. I forgot. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, I think next update is going to be automation. That'd be cool. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell for not future notifications. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment your suggestions and all that. Uh, thanks, guys. Peace.